Back home again in Indiana. Welcome to the racing capital of the world. Just shy of 9 a.m. and thousands and thousands of people have already piled inside the racetrack and thousands more will come. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J and I am back home again in Indiana for Memorial Day weekend. And of course, Memorial Day weekend is always the time of the Indianapolis 500. And it is my first time in a long time. I used to come out here to this track when I was a kid all the time. Growing up in Indiana, racing was kind of in our blood, so to speak. But it's been almost 20 years since I've been to the Indianapolis 500. And this weekend I'm here because it's my mom's birthday and she wanted to spend her birthday back home in Indiana. So. The race is going on. I was able to secure a ticket. It wasn't easy to get a ticket to this thing this year, but I did it and here I am. I'm going to document my experience today and I hope you enjoy it. So here I am about to enter gate one, about to cash in my ticket. It's race day, the greatest spectacle in racing. Indy 500, man, I'm so excited. I got goosebumps. There's much ahead, my friends. There's so much ahead. Just stepped inside the main gates and already greeted by the official pace car, the Stingray Corvette. Check it out. That thing is awesome. We're so glad you came to the racing capital of the world to see the greatest spectacle in racing. We're going to play a little bit more for you. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Underneath the Firestone tent, check out the Firestone Indy car. That thing looks slick. The plan is to walk around today and just see everything there is to see here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Now passing underneath the tunnel, underneath the racetrack, right here, heading over this way to the race pagoda. Lots of stuff going on. Tunnel 6. We are now walking beneath the racetrack. Actually just below the starting line. Not too far from it. I have made my way through the tunnel and on the inside of the track now looking at the pagoda, the epicenter, the tower of the racetrack. And just over there somewhere is Winter Circle. I'm gonna head over in that area and see if I can get a good look of the racetrack. As you can see, thousands and thousands of people piling in here today. This is a two and a half mile track. So when you're looking at a portion right here, you're only looking at a small portion of it. You can't see the whole entire track unless you're on top of the pagoda. And it looks like there's a little photo op up here. Some of our men and women of our US Navy. It is Memorial Day weekend. Shout out to them. That's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, walking among some of the original track of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This track opened in 1911. They called it the Brickyard. They still do. And this brick goes all the way through the pagoda, out into the actual racetrack. And here I am, I've made it to the winner's circle here. Right before the track. Check it out. Years ago, when he said, as far as how close the field is, Max is starting 29. We've already talked to Alexander Rossi, who is starting 10. That's from inside of row four. We've got a camera looking at us on a boom here. Check it out. We welcome all of you. Hey, I'm waving. I'm on TV. <laughs> That's awesome. Got a little raceway cosplay over here. Check it out. Look at that. That's awesome. Standing before the barricade at Gasoline Alley. Trying to see if we see some cars rolling back and forth here. This is the main entryway to the track for the race cars. Marco Andretti. How 
Alexander Bossy. The drivers are headed to their vehicles. Look at all the people. Check it out. Right here near Gasoline Alley. Look, Gasoline Cafe. I'm getting hungry. Maybe I'll get a burger there or something. I decided to go with a breaded pork tenderloin sandwich, which is Indiana's staple food. Grew up eating a breaded pork tenderloin. Oh, they're so tasty. Also, I got a soda pop right there. I'm uh, eating here. I'm sitting on the uh, backside of this building looking up at the pagoda about to chow down right now. Several poor vets around the pagoda. Check it out. But I'm gonna check out some merchandise inside this store. It's funny because some things never change. They used to sell these exact race helmets, these toys, when I was a kid here. That is really cool. The official 105th Indy 500 shirt. Check it out. Got the Indy car with Pagoda there. And it's 35 bucks. Not too bad. Might get one before I leave today. Check it out. Up there, there's someone walking. A lot of people passing through underneath the stand. Check it out. Once upon a time, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway used to have a payphone right here. Nope. Not there anymore. It's empty. It's empty. We have the Purdue University marching band with the world's largest drum right before us as they're doing a salute to the military. This is awesome. Go Boilermakers. Stand by. Ready. Ready. Aim. right beneath the racetrack 500 miles to go making my way to my seats check this out 
up somewhere over there. <laughs> this is awesome. Look, they have the dash cams. Here comes the cars. bad at all. That's why I wanted to watch the opening ceremony down there at the Pagoda. Nice breeze out here too. Here, This is the fourth turn, the final turn. Lap 500 is going to be awesome to watch. with 33 drivers in the race. The first pit of the race, it looks like. Lap 32, we've had one car pit. We have a wreck in pit lane. The adrenaline you get when these cars go by you, it's amazing. It's like you're driving the car yourself. I'm sure that's a lot more adrenaline if you're driving the car, but man, it is exciting. There goes the pace car and Castro Neves. I think Castro Neves is, yep. He's bidding. Neves, I believe he's fueling up right now. The 39th lap under caution. Now on lap 91. Haven't even broke 100 yet. They just announced first time in history that only one car has been out at the halfway point. As I was saying, first time in history that only one car, one single car, came out of the race before its halfway point. That's pretty amazing. 106. We've got 94 left to go. 500 miles. the Northwest Vista section I have some family sitting up here in the fourth turn beyond the fourth turn check out all the beer cans that have been tossed in between the stands and the racetrack all right I'm gonna go up and find my family members just gotta say hi real quick
to my seat, 27 laps to go. Elio Castro Neves with the lead. Six to go. Oh no, Malone just passed Castro Neves. They've been neck and neck the whole race. This is exciting. Only four more laps to go. It's awesome. We're on the final lap. We're on the final lap. Final lap, ladies and gentlemen. Here they come. Lead car. Elio Castroneves wins the 2021, the 105th Indianapolis 500. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah! Elio Castroneves, four-time IndyCar champion, also the oldest driver to ever win the Indy 500 now. All kinds of records today. Watching the champion on the Jumbotron here. Elio Castroneves, four-time winner. Oh, he's gonna sign the screen. Look at that. Look at that, he's signing the lens. The camera lens. That's amazing. Right over there is where the milk drinking is about to go down. Here they come, taking that ride. It's milk time. Cheers. Salute. And the fence climbers have began climbing. Never seen a celebration like this on the record. I've never seen this. goes right there kissing the bricks Three, two, one. yeah that's awesome Woo! champion Elio Castro Neves yeah that's amazing I'm glad I waited for that that was awesome what a glorious and exciting day here at the Indianapolis 500 I will be back. He's kissing them again, his whole crew. This is awesome. This was an awesome day. I loved it. Stopping by the official trackside gift shop to see if there's a t-shirt left. This will do. In my size. My 105th Indy 500 shirt. 32 bucks. guys I hope you had a fun time today with me at the Indy 500 if you did how about one of those right down there below the screen a like or a thumbs up however or whichever you call it maybe both but thank you so much for joining me here again I had such a fantastic time a lot of good memories came back to me today remembering moments here with my dad my family over the years, many years ago. It just, it was like good old times today. This is the most amount of people I've been around in a long time, over 300,000 people here today. And for a lot of people out here, I'm sure this is the first time they've been around this amount of people. But very grateful, very thankful I could be here today and I could bring you guys with me. And it wouldn't have been the same without you. Thanks for always joining me here on this channel. 
I am so thankful from the bottom of my heart for that. Now it's time for me to get back to my car and head back to my hometown. Thanks for joining me everyone. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and know there's much ahead. See you next time. I'm going to have a fun time getting out of Speedway, Indiana. The park's so close to the track too. The race ended over an hour ago. People are still leaving. Actually, I'm parked right over here. This car wash is. Right where I left you, Liam Nissan. At the Dirt Stripper Car Wash. Thanks to these folks, I was able to park at this car wash for a whopping $60. Oh man. I know what you're thinking, that sounds expensive, but actually that's a pretty good deal for race day when the parking sells out months ago right across from pit stop liquors okay i'm gonna get in this traffic but first i have to get into liam all right guys i am tampa j and there is much ahead thanks for watching